What up there, anime and manga communities? This is your boy today, or Chidea, whatever you want to call me. And today, I'm here to talk about Akame Gakiru, chapter 52. Now, before I get started, let me just move my chair up a bit. There you go. Before I get started, I just want to say a few things real quick. Number one, I've never reviewed a Kami Got Kill before. I did a series review, an overall series, and my overall feelings for the series in the past, but I've never done a chapter review, so this is gonna be the first time I've ever done this. Now, the only reason I didn't add a Kami Got Kill into my scheduling that I did yesterday was because of, well, I this is a monthly manga. I'll get to it when I get to it because it's a monthly fucking manga, so there's no schedule for that. You just do it when it come out. So, <laughs> so the next thing is, I'm pretty sure I fixed my camera. Hooray. I think I did. Uh, it was, you know, just it, the, the sad part about it was it was a simple whatever. Either way it goes, my camera should be fixed. If I do end up desyncing in the middle of the video, my apologies. I'm sorry, but I shouldn't. But if I do, just listen to my smooth voice. Now, Kami Got Killed Chapter 52. Now, this week's chapter of Kami Got Killed, y'all. Oh, oh, it was fucking amazing. I, this this chapter was hype. It was completely worth the month wait. The month plus wait, I think, for this fucking chapter. This was this yeah. Okay. Let me just get into it, right? So the chapter starts off with Lou Buck uh being stuck in the cell, you know, shivering and shit. And, you know, soldier basically talking to the soldier. They're uh, talking down to him like, man, I was really hoping, you know, I could try some new torture methods on you. But, ah, well, you're just a pussy anyway. And then we jump over to see you and the prime minister minister as they're talking about, you know, the possibilities of S death being what is it called? Uh, a traitor to the night raid cause due to the fact that she was, you know, fraternizing, to say the least, with the enemy. I mean, fraternization. Yeah, that's the, that, that's the best word to use here. So. Uh, the Prime Minister shows Siryu proof, like, let me show you something, okay? If she wanted to be the leader of Night Raid right now, she'd be, she would be leading the revolution. Easy. She is beastly. You can't, you can't play with Esteth. Let's be real. So, the only person who could dare think to fight that woman is that freaking other nutcase monster general who's a part of the, uh, you know, Imperial Army. And that dude is also, like, I, he on that next level anyway. So, then we we jump into, you know, him showing Siryu that Run got information on them about, you know, all the he, Siryu's the reason that the humanoid, uh, what, is, what are they called, uh, nightmare beasts of what is it calamity beast the humanoid calamity beast that came and started terrorizing the imperial cities and all that is because Siryu brought it there and that if anyone were to show this he would have to be tried for his crimes as death gave this to the imperial what is it the uh the prime minister as a gift to show hey keep your stuff together so then the prime minister checks his son he's like yo i don't like useless people get it together so Sir Yu being all butthurt walks out the door, <laughs> freaking knocks over bookcases and walks out the door. And then uh, the prime minister starts talking to the chicken there who is apparently a, a famed alchemist. So yeah, then we jump over to back over to Sir Yu who is now trying to come up formulate a plot to get, oh yeah, and my bad, I missed this part. The prime minister also says the witch hunt will be shut down after today because of what Sir Yu has done. And, it, and thank you, God, because Witch Hunt was on some crazy shit. Like, it was getting that. That freaking child molester clown was on that. Like, I'm, that, I was, oh, man, I, I'm, man, I hated him. I really hated him. Like, I've never hated a character that much before. Like, I hated that guy. Anyway, I mean, it's a good thing. He was supposed to be that hated. But that, I wanted him, like, dead beyond dead. Like, no. Anyways, uh, so then... Siryu is trying to use his, the what little power he has left tonight to get information out of Lu Buck so that he can uh, prove to his dad that he, you know he's good, he's not useless, and to maybe keep Witch Hunt a going and you know keep any criminal charges off of him. So then when he goes in to start torturing Lu Buck, he's like, "Look, here's the deal. I'm gonna start poking eyes out and cutting fingers off if you don't start telling me information." So then you just see the fear in Lu Buck's face, and he's like, "Okay, you know what?" Fine, I'll tell you. So then he starts telling them about how, uh, what is it, Tetsumi's incursio's ability 
is invisibility, which they already knew that. And then he starts speaking about Akame and how Akame does have a special ability, but doesn't because she does have a special ability, but she just doesn't know how to use it. I always assumed her special ability was just the fact that she can slice you once and you're done. That seems like a very specialized ability right there. Like that, that's pretty special if you ask me. One cut in the fights, that is so OP. If you really think about that, one cut, the whole fight's over. It's done. Game's over. That, that, that is the most OP shit I've ever seen in my life. It's the only way they'll be able to kill S-Death too. Like you can't beat S-Death with anything else. Either way it goes, moving on. So then he says, okay, if you, then Lubox says, okay, if you let me down from my chains, I should point out, point it out to you on the map, where the you know our base is. This is where CU fucked up because he should not. He, he got cocky. He got cocky. <laughs> he thought for a second he was like, okay, this guy ain't nothing. He's just you know, uh, what is it? You know, he, he, he you know he doesn't have any abilities. And then as soon as Blue Book hits the ground, he's like, you know, I forgot to mention one thing. Akami isn't the only one with a special ability. And he was like, huh? You just see Luba put his hand in his mouth and then he pulls out these strings and chokes this. <laughs> he's like, he's like, I, I, I line my mouth with my strings just for situations like this. And he just starts choking. He's like, I'm really glad you fell from my whole cowardly act. He's like, you did, we are night raid. And we would never betray our comrades. I'm like, yes. <laughs> Luba, Luba earned mad points for what he did this chapter. This, he, choked, he choked the life out of this dude. Siryu was dead. Done. Fell on the floor. He's like, no, but daddy. I, mean, I was so glad to see that Scar look alike dead. Scar, Scar would body you. <laughs> I mean, seriously though, I hated Siryu. He was a scumbag. Like, I'm glad I was happy when Wade beat his ass and I'm glad he's dead now. I, will, I don't want to see him come back. Let him stay dead. They did not come back no more. Fuck Witch Hunt. Everyone in Witch Hunt, I want dead. Everyone. Witch Hunt was a horrible, horrible thing. Anyways, so now Lu Buck is going batshit with his strings to get out of there, get Tetsumi, and get the fuck out of there alive. Now, predictions for next month's chapter, because that's where the chapter ends. My predictions are very simple. We still don't know what's going on with Tetsumi and Esta. I don't think Esta is going to do anything to Tetsumi. Do just do the fact that she loves him. But... This is definitely, mine is in main, I think it's main or mine. I don't, I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce her name. I'm gonna just say mine for now. Uh, I think mine is in some serious trouble. Because if Tetsumi, like for real, if Tetsumi shows, I, these are my predictions. Lubuck is gonna die before they leave. Like if Lubuck's not making out of here alive, I don't, I do not see that happening. Lubuck is dead now. I always assumed Lubuck was gonna die. Like if there was ever anyone in Night Raid that was gonna die, I always assumed it was him. And then there is what? What else is it? What was it? And then mine. Mine is gonna die because Esdeath is gonna kill her. Daddy, those are my predictions. That's how I feel. That's where I feel the story is deviating off to. Just saying. So either way it goes, I love this chapter. It was amazing. It had me hyped. I was on the edge of my seat. It was a good ass chapter. My comedy got killed. So yeah, guess I won't be seeing you guys. My comedy got killed, guys, for another month or so. So. I'll catch you niggas next month. Either way it goes, this is your boy Ch hey, Chidea signing out. Please be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe and do other things to help Black Brother thrive. And I will catch y'all on the flip. It has been golden. Peace out, anime and manga communities.